What's up everybody, Kwame here, back in with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to reduce noise and sharpen your pictures here in Lightroom Mobile CC. Now this is, there's really three versions of Lightroom. You have Lightroom Classic on the desktop, Lightroom Mobile, or Lightroom CC for the desktop, and then Lightroom Mobile CC. And this will work pretty much in all of them, but I'm going to show you how to do this on Lightroom Mobile CC. This technique will work on any I, iPhone, iPad, Android phone, or Android tablet. I'm using it on my Chromebook right now so I can show you with a mouse, uh, so you can see the mouse here. So let's go into this image here. And if we zoom in, we can see that there is, uh, in the background here, back in here, there's noise. And that's like this digital artifact artifacting that you can get from your camera so this was taken uh, at the zoo by our here in denver and if you see it was shot at iso 1600 f uh, 5.6 and 1 100 1 125th of a second so i had and this is on a um panasonic g7 i was testing it out for photography and you can see even though it does shoot it at that higher uh, high ISO, you will get some noise. And so I want to reduce some of this here. And so if you go into uh, your editing tools here under detail, you have different things you can do. So there's sharpening and there's like the, the edits you can do within the sharpening. And there's this noise reduction. Now, when you do the noise reduction, it's going to affect the entire image. So if you zoom out, it's going to affect the entire image here, not just the, uh, not just the, the, not just around the, the bird here. So let me show you what this will look like. And there isn't really any noise, a uh, color noise. I mean, so you don't really have to worry about that. And it, within importing it to Lightroom, you can see it automatically got added. So it did take out whatever color noise there was, which is usually like red, green, and I think blue. Don't hold me to that 100%, but you'd see some of that in there instead of just have this digital noise. And so if I go in here and come on computer, start to play with this and hold it for a second, you will see like the noise starts to get it starts to fade out so let's bring it up just a little bit more and yes yeah, it's telling me i haven't used this uh i had to reinstall lightroom so I'm getting all the notifications now so this is before and this is after and i kind of like that but i do want to take it up just a little bit more so we go up here and just to show you for this video i'm going to crank it up a little bit further than I would normally go but now you can see like a real before this is before and now this is after and so it's pretty much gone but the problem with doing that is now I've also done that to the bird itself so the bird has gotten a, a little fuzz, fuzzier I guess it has a lot less sharpness it's lost some of its sharpness so the one way to deal with that and also this um, stump that it's sitting on is to go into this tool here and this is your selective edits that you just saw pressing here and getting the brush tool now actually before I do that I'm gonna go in here and my noise reduction was 66 so in this brush tool I'm going to choose the brush and then I can, you, if you click on one of these sides here, you can choose the size of the brush, the hardness of the brush, and the opacity of the brush, like the roundness, I mean, so how um, soft it is on the edge of the brush. So I'm gonna go in here and I wanna make my brush size not that big, and maybe like that. And if I just start painting, you see this red color will come in, and this lets me know where I'm putting down this mask. And I'm going to knock this down now to get it on the edges and zoom in a little bit here so I can 
get this and again this isn't going to be perfect because i'm doing this for the video i just want to show you how this would work so we're going to paint this in here real quick All right, there you go. So as I said before, this is done really quick so I can show you for this video. But as you can see right in here, I kind of drew outside the lines. And what's nice about Lightroom is that there's this little eraser tool. And so just like your brush, you have your different sizes for your eraser. And so I can go right in here and erase this part that spilled over into the background and off the bird so I go like this and I've kind of cleaned up that edge so now with this mask on I can go in here and actually bring back that noise that I've took out so I'm going to go to negative 66 percent and it's going to now bring back that noise that was written in there for the original picture because there, once you look at the if you look at the bird there isn't much noise within the bird then I'm also going to add just a touch of sharpening to this bird and go 20% and then hit done so now you can see that if we zoom in we have the bird that is still sharp and didn't lose any of the sharpness when we took out the noise from the background so that's a really easy way of getting, you know, reducing the noise in your pictures so you can have a cleaner picture of whatever you're photographing, birds or people, whatever. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. I, you know, I would like to hear from you. How do you handle noise in your pictures in your uh, on your mobile devices? Again, this is for this works in Lightroom mobile CC and it will work on the iPad, iPhone android phone android tablet or the chromebook as you can see here thank you for watching this video i will see you i will see you in the next one talk to you later bye bye